welcome to my youtube channel i'm your host leticia if you're new here where have you been oh my god i've been waiting for you i'm so excited to have you here today welcome i would be talking about a very sensitive topic today and that sensitive topic is pretty privilege it's pretty privilege like does it actually exist um, does it really matter in the society today and so much more in the conversation today don't go anywhere but first let's define pretty privilege what is pretty privilege pretty privilege is when an individual is given preference because of the way they look like when an individual is given when an individual is viewed just because of the way they look that is pretty privilege and does pretty privilege actually exist in society today yes 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 a lot of people just get away with things just because of their physical appearance just because of the way they look not because of what they actually have to offer which this is something i do not agree with i feel like a lot of people should not be given preference just based on physical appearance there are other factors that should be looked into and not just a physical appearance this beauty bias has made a lot of people feel like if i don't look pretty or if i don't look a certain way i cannot be successful in society today or i cannot get to i cannot get to a certain level in life just because i do not look a certain way which is very very wrong you should never feel like just because you're not as pretty as the next person you cannot go far in life or you will not be able to achieve what you want to achieve that is very wrong take that out of it take that out of your head and i'm going to give a quick scenario of what i mean by that uh, for example a company wants to employ a secretary and then the criteria for you to be qualified for you to be seen as qualified one of it is that you have to be light-skinned a lot of companies believe that if you're light-skinned oh yes you're attractive and then you'll be able to hold a conversation with people coming into the company since you're going to be the first person that is going to be seen like you're the eye of the company so you have to look a certain way but I believe that people should not just be given credits just because of how they look but because of what they can do. Because you can employ this certain light-skinned individual and then this person has a very bad character and then is not able to talk to your clients or is not able to communicate properly with your clients. That is going to be a problem. So I feel like other factors should be looked into before you judge an individual you don't just judge an individual just because they look pretty or they look beautiful other factors should be and i and three main factors that i think are very very yes i think are very very important in judging an individual is one the person's personality two the person's character three the person's action like what can the person offer what does the person have to offer because believe it or not when people leave the shores of this earth like when people when you finally go to heaven you will not be remembered just because of how you would have looked like a lot of people won't even remember what you won't obviously they remember what you look like but that what will linger on for them is how you actually made them feel like what you did what you did for them were you a good person were you were you a good person were you someone that was always there whenever they needed you so those are things that would actually linger and not the whole pretty face this pretty bias has made a lot of people go up out of their way just to look a certain way and they feel like if i look a certain way that is when i'll be accepted in the society a lot of people 
have tried to bleach their skins like i'm calm because i'm dark and i feel like i'm not going to be getting i'm not going to be getting a lot of jobs so i feel like i should change my skin color to light skin so i can get what i want or people that actually do surgeries just to get big butts and tiny waist because they feel like uh, I can't be accepted if I'm flat. Uh, I need to, my darling. A lot of people have their own preference. Some people prefer the light skinned people, some people prefer the dark skinned people, some people prefer the tall, some people prefer the short people. So I feel like you should just stay true to yourself, be yourself. You don't have to look a certain way just to please the society the society should accept you for who you are not you trying to bend yourself just to be a certain way that you feel like oh if i'm this way i'll be accepted in the society which is something that you shouldn't even think of at all because you're pretty you're beautiful how like you're you're, you're beautiful or you're pretty in your own way and you shouldn't be thinking of things like that but does this pretty privilege thing actually exist yes 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 it actually exists in society today because when people are looking for okay yeah, for example models they like you have to look you have to be skinny obviously you have to be skinny you have to be tall you have to be at least i think you have you have to be at least like a five 11 or five yeah you have to be you have to have a certain height for you to be classified as a model but then there are people actually there are people that everybody is not meant to be a model that's why god created people differently like everybody has it's not everybody everybody is not meant to look the same so people that look that way okay yes this is what they get but you that look this other way there are still other jobs out there for you you don't have to coin yourself to a particular way just because you want to get just because you just you want to be seen as just because you want to how do i put it just because you want to be accepted in society you don't have to do all of that so instead of complimenting and praising individuals just because of their physical appearance i feel like you should look at other factors like their personality like their character do they have an amazing personality do you have a beautiful character how do they make you feel yes how do they make you feel before you can be able to judge and say it's, this in, individual is actually pretty yes it should be part of the criteria to be classified as being pretty because how does this person actually make you feel does this person make you feel a certain way does this person make you feel good does this person is this person always there for you can this person deliver those are the basic things that you should look at and not physical appearance because physical appearance is not all of it it can never ever be all of it. it can never be all of it in lagos today a lot of people if you do not have in lagos today if you do not have a tiny waist and um, a big butt hmm, sorry nobody's even going to look your way like nobody is going to look your way you're just going to be <laughs> you're not you're not even classified as a baby at cost like who do you have to offer which is very very wrong yeah i said it i said it quote me anywhere any day anytime it's wrong like people should not be judged for physical appearance that's so annoying but yeah people should not be judged for physical appearance yes alone they should be judged because of other things like you know what i mean now yes no and then there's this idea that we have there's this mentality that people who look a certain way uh, live longer or they're more healthier or they're more smarter it's not all people it's not everybody that looks that has the looks and then has something here 
that's the truth it's not everyone that looks so pretty that has something here or has something to offer literally so this should not be a base in judging individuals and i'm going to repeat myself again three most important things that should be looked into are person's personality person's character and action how does this person make you feel what has this person done what does this person have to offer when the person is talking like does the person have um do we have like um amazing conversations like does the person make sense whenever we're having a conversation what have i learned from this particular individual those are the things to be looked at and on the final notes before i leave i just want to say be true to yourself be very true to yourself it doesn't matter how you actually look but what do you have to offer what do you have to offer i'm not saying pretty privilege doesn't exist yes it does take it out what else do you have to offer other than being pretty other than being beautiful what else do you have to offer when you leave the shores of this earth what would you be remembered for like what would people say about you do they have anything good to say about you or will you be remembered as someone who doesn't have people's backs will you remember it or as someone who goes hard for people stay true to yourself thank you for watching this video and i would like to know what you think about pretty privilege in the comment section i've been waiting for your beautiful comments so i can respond to them thank you for watching this video thank you for speaking with me make sure you like and share